Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're we'll actually be getting some rims, some new rims on the car. Well, kind of new. You know, I, I had the rims, but I didn't have the fourth. So now I got the fourth, and now we got a tire hookup. So we're gonna definitely be putting it on this car, seeing how they look, seeing if the fitment's any better, and seeing whether you guys like my current setup or the new setup. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and give you guys a cold start up on a muffler delete E92 M3. And then we gotta start loading up all the rims into the car because it's gonna be a. Uh, gonna be a mess. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start loading up everything real quick. All right, guys, as you guys can see, got all the rims loaded up. Yes, it's the OEM, so the two front ones have some slight curb rash we'll be fixing down the road. Just wanna make sure all these wheels are good. So yeah, I finally picked up a fourth right here. It's got a little nick right there, but I hope it's not gonna affect anything. This was about almost $200 with this little nick. They're super expensive to find these rims individually, so I didn't wanna dump three to 400 bucks on, on a good used one. A new one's like 600. I figured this little nick is not gonna really hurt much, and as long as it holds air, I'm good to go, which the shop verified it does. So let's go ahead, hopefully get some new tires on this thing, and see how they look on the M3, because uh, a lot of you guys say you don't like this. I love how these look, but um, especially with the yellow calipers, but if you guys wanna see how the OEM ones look, maybe even the fitment's better, because the uh, fitment can be better. We'll see. Guys, I need to pick up a quart of oil, boys. Let's go down to BMW and dump 20 bucks. Woohoo! My dream car, boys. No way, dude. Woo! You gotta work for that green light. Light, light, light. Save it on yourself, but other people do. All right, I get back to you guys when I should get that quarter oil. All right, guys, got the oil. Looks pretty cool. Let me show you guys. Look at the oil, guys. It literally says M Power Turbo 10W60. That's crazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and load this up and head on our journey to get our new tires mounted. All right, guys, we are good to go have any more oil issues. Alright guys, I think we're here. Oh, it's right here, boys. Let's check it out. Tire shop. I'm so excited about boys. We have to get some new tires up in here. Let's hit up my boy. See what's going to happen with the M3. What's going on, brother? Hey. Sorry it took me so long, dude. All good. Appreciate you letting us stocks, out. Right? What happened? Pretty good, Yeah, yeah, the stock ones. Finally got the fourth rim, bro. It took me forever to find. find it. I found out some dude on Craigslist, but uh. So yeah. Set or just, uh, just one? No, I found one, but I have the other three, so it's perfect. So yeah, finally guys, we can finally put OEMs. Because you guys wanted to see how the OEM fitments are, I'm putting some massive spacers on these ones, and they're still not even that good. So you guys are about to see the difference. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. It's silent now, we don't say a word. We're just looking at each other. Tears in our eyes from the words we said. Yeah, it kind of broke my heart. Loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think I'm trying my best to hold on but I feel myself giving You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this We hurt each other's feelings on and on I don't wanna change who you are The things you say is always one step too far But I know that I've played my part I'm hurting you as well all right guys they're actually so quick they've already got tires mounted on these guys and on these ones they put my two sensors that i didn't have on the front two remounted the tires so shout out to them for doing that for me these are all um i'm pretty much gonna keep these as my daily set and this is gonna be like my track slash 
you know, just beating around set because I actually really, really, really like those rims. These rims are actually looking pretty good. So um, I actually rock these for a little bit. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited. Okay, four out. <laughs> And start again Don't give up, we're holding on For what it's worth I'll try to change We can't fix our broken hearts Loving me is not so goddamn Alright guys, so we just got done with the wheels Both wheels are on, it actually looks kind of insane I didn't think the OEM is going to look like that Also, if you guys check out the fitment The fitment is insane like, talk about girth. See, so yeah, I might actually rock these for a little bit. I'm gonna see how they balance. I'm gonna see how they drive. I could have a problem with balance, mainly because it's bent and it could have like other damages. So I'm about to find out. If I find any issues at the front, I'll let him know. But it's not his problem. It, they did everything perfectly. They even put the two sensors that originally came with the car on my other set, which is perfect. So when it's time, I can finally get rid of that TPMS that you guys have been asking about. Yeah, so shout out to Usman. I'm gonna put the card of the company like right here. They're located in Stockton. They're actually insane. The Yelp reviews are insane. I think they have like 280 reviews. Their prices are really fair. Um, and I'm definitely, honestly, like me personally, if I'm gonna bring my car back, I'm gonna bring it back to him. He's a really chill guy. Him and his brother run this place, which is insane. It's like goals i respect the hustle so yeah if you guys want to check them out check them out right here and i'll show you guys more of an update when i actually wash the car show you guys the rims and all that good stuff i haven't left the shop yet shout out to osman for hooking it up i honestly didn't even know my tires like check out these tires right now that is not safe to drive on like literally you can see like the strings or whatever pulling out of the tire those could have popped at any moment i wouldn't have known so obviously i also need an alignment which i'll be doing soon they are very busy right now which i'm really 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 proud about i'm happy to see that from them because they well deserve it they really took care of me everyone in their staff is very nice but yeah anyways we're gonna head down to pick a pull now and see if i can pick up some car parts for this car or my e46 because i'm in stockton i'm in stockton might as well check out the pick a pull here and they have like four or five cars that's pretty good all right bro take care guys i just passed this beautiful tunnel i'm gonna have to go back for you guys i'm literally going out of my way to make sure i can get to this tunnel for you guys because the car sound is so good no issues with the wheels and tires i'm happy to say they're amazing i'm happy i could back up my word on that round two boys I just realized I didn't even bring a toolbox. I'm going to take all the tools by hand. So I won't be able to bring you guys with me, but I'll keep you guys posted. We're just going over to Blake's house so he can hook us up with some grills. He reached out to me saying he has some grills from Mohammed. So I'm going to go ahead and go pick it up and uh, show him my M3 because he hasn't seen a little bit. Claiming that we enemies, thinking about the jealousy, forgetting all the chemistry. Together till we 7 e we move the ball, girl, now we live. All right, guys, it looks like we're at the right place. That is so gorgeous, my God. What's going on, brother? I couldn't miss this from two blocks away. <laughs> I saw this, I was like, dang, bro. You always keep her clean or what? It's really clean right now, it's super dirty. From right here, it's like perfect. Well, as you can see, super close up and on camera, it's good. So what's going on, bro? What's up, man? Nothing How's much. Going? You just working? Yeah. Usual what's stuff? Yeah. Cool, cool. Doing the swap, the M4. Dang. The S3. Okay. You <laughs> owe nothing, dude. It's hella dirty back here. Sorry, guys. I've been like going to town on this. Uh, <laughs> tried to do RX7 brake swap. Brake swap? Oh, I saw that on Instagram. Yeah. But it kind of was a failure. Oh, really? Yeah, these wheels are just like the offset. It's just, it's way too close. Oh, and I was right. grinding on there and then it went like right through it. So I'm like, oh, eh, damn. I'm over that. I'm yeah, I feel it. I'm just like walking back here and I just realized there's an M motor on an E30 chassis, right? Yeah, so I just took out the uh, M20, probably like, it's probably been a month now, it's been a lot. <laughs> but uh, M20. Just casually sitting there. Still in there, it's going on another E30. Oh, really? But uh, this is an S52 from a 98 uh, M3. 
So an E36 M3? Yeah, from an E36 M3. Cool, uh, cool. It's all, it's running. The exhaust is not hooked up. Is it be hella loud? loud. <laughs> it's pretty loud. Uh, <laughs> the exhaust is not hooked up and the cooling system is not hooked up and the drive shaft is not hooked up. And I'll show you the inside. So this is like a race car build. Did you do this like right here? Like you did it like in your backyard? Yeah, I did it. I'm no. Really by myself, yeah. What the? <laughs> also, I have like, it's gonna be all like DIY how-to videos like on each process. Oh, like okay, sick. System, electrical system, like oil pan, like every little thing you need. That's what's up. To do it and check this bad boy out. Interior too? So, I'm gonna yeah. go around you real quick. So, I got it this a long time ago and like Damn. It and so it's all caged back there, half cage. She's come a long way. Yeah. Isn't this the one, the second one you bought? This wasn't your this first, was one. first one. Oh, this was the first one? So it did manual swap. So this was an auto. Put in the CAE. That's a super dope, like $1,300 shifter. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Damn, it costs, most, it costs more than most of the cars I buy. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, the steering wheel looks so sick. That's neutral. Ugh. That's a fail. So, Dang. check it. So first gear right there. <laughs> Absolutely, like no sign no. that they feel that. Yeah, for real. No, I noticed I was just putting it in gear. Yeah, so that's the third. But anyways, yeah. check it. So first gear, <laughs> second gear, auto centers to third. So if you oh, that's it sick. forward, boom, that's third gear. Cool, and cool. And then fourth gear, and then fifth gear, and like absolutely no play. So oh, this is from Hard Motorsports? Yeah, it's a CAE shifter. Um, sick. It's an Actually, I just saw them post this on Instagram cars. saying they're almost sold out. <laughs> Yeah, well, I had to wait like three months for this. Nah. -uh. Yeah, and they sell out right away. So. Dang. It's from Germany, this one's autographed. That's sick. Yeah. Pretty it cool. is like real race car up in here. Pretty soon, we'll have it on track. I hope to have it out at Thunder Hill in October. But I mean, it starts hella good. Obviously, I can't leave it for long, but. Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That is way too <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Damn. Oh. That sounds so good. <laughs> it's ready to go. Oh my but, god. Uh, and these yeah. door cards, you did them yourself. Like, where'd you get these yeah, door cards I made from? These. Nuh uh. Yeah, I made From these. scratch? Yeah. From what? From aluminum. Pinned them Damn. up and trimmed them up and everything. And That's then, sick. Like, did those, did the rears too. Like, I know people would pay like three, four hundred bucks per door panel to get these, right? Yeah, so like. I bought some from okay. a company. We'll just call them. We'll Anonymous. Give them no name. We'll give them no name, but yeah. they're like known in the East 36 world for the stuff. Sorry, my hair's all messed up. Nah, you're good, don't worry. Been working all morning since I feel like it. 7 a.m. I'm always messed up too. Uh, <laughs> but I got them. I paid like $400, like you're saying. And then when I got them, I was like, these are dog shit. Like they are really bad. Like they like, didn't fit at all. No, like the trim, like around here, was just huge, and it was sideways, and like there were just like giant gaps, so you could like see all of this. Like what would normally you would think, you know, it would just go to the uh, the seal, but it was like all up in here. This is hella ugly. So this actually looks so good right now. Yeah. The fitment looks great, like especially right around there. Yeah. I don't know how you got that precise, cardboard, but cardboard, baby, cardboard. Oh really? Yeah. Dang. Cardboard, and then I literally just use like. I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. Uh, these bad boys, which I was cutting up some dust shields earlier, but left Sick. hand, right hand shears. <laughs> He's going at it all day. Yeah. Dang. I a while back, but, uh, this thing looks so clean. Looks like it's meant to be in there, right? Honestly. So Is this street reach. legal or not? Uh, nah. Street legal. It'll have all the all the things. <laughs> It'll have all the things it needs. Um. This is like the signature way of him saying it. <laughs> Did I hear that? <laughs> I've been pulled over in it before, like yeah. caged up and everything, and they let me go. Like I rolled a stop sign, but I like double checked. I was like, uh, I like kind of stopped. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you... And I saw the cop. I was like, shit. <laughs> and then like I went again, and then the dude pulled me over. Dang. And he was like, because you cared. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, guys. I accidentally stopped recording. No, so these are the uh, Toyo R Triple Eight Rs. These are gonna be the front tires for the track setup on the M4. I'm gonna be Dang. taking that out to Laguna Seca in November. Hold November. on, I just comprehended this. 275 in the front. Yeah, in the front. What is gonna be in the rear? 305, 30. Nah. -uh. That's good. That's Girth Nation, oh, yeah. guys. <laughs> I'll show you the That's crazy. Has your channel seen any of this stuff yet? No. Oh. Um. <laughs> Rip. Rip. <laughs> Just let it go. So, 
you guys come over to my channel, you'll get to see all these mounted up on the car. But Damn. Apex uh, EC 11s, or looks no, so EC good. 7s, 18 by 11s. So that is so wide. Put your hand on there, you see. Oh, what the heck? They're ma but I mean, just no, yeah. massive. Hold on, so these are how wide? 18, 11, so 11 inches. Dang. Yeah. My current ones on my M3 are nine and a half in the rear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, um, he saw Mohammed, he ended up getting an F chassis and we didn't get any grills and he's gonna hook it up right now to so yeah. check these out. So I actually got these from Keys. So I can't be like. So partially from Keys Motorsports, I, always hooking it this up. This is like a double, this is a double sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> like he gave me the D's, I put them on there. I was like, eh, because I lost my M badge. Yeah, because the M4. Wait, hold on. So these ones don't hold the M4 badge. That's why you didn't yeah. want them, right? Yeah. So like, you can actually take these apart, but uh, like it's just clips, you know? You've yeah. probably done that before. The innards. Yeah, yeah. But I couldn't fit the stock innards Dude, on. That it looks it so different. good. But yeah, so some carbon fiber F32 grills Damn. or F30 grills. I forget what you're putting on F30. Uh, F30. Yeah. yeah. Dude, so. this looks so, like this carbon. Yeah, this is why I always get stuff from Keys and Mortis, but this carbon looks like some serious real carbon here. Yeah, it's some That's crazy. Stuff. So I had them on for a minute and I was like, ah, I need that M badge. I paid too much for that M badge. <laughs> yeah, so. you pay the M tax, but yeah, I enjoy it. Yeah, and I was like, ah, I just need that M badge. Cause Understandable. Honestly, like the F82 kind of has, it doesn't have like super distinct lines. Yeah. Like the coupe. You're like, oh, is that the thing is around the quarter, I'm not the biggest fan of, but other yeah. than that, I mean, that's a pretty decent curve on the bumper oh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, well, the front's like wider, it has the flared fenders, yeah, yeah, like you know, as compared to M3, the M3's got like fat, like fenders, yeah, you yeah, know? and it looks sick because they're flared. M4 is kind of like, eh, but it's a dope <laughs> car, so. no, regardless, yeah, complain. dang, guys, carbon on carbon. Yeah. This looks so good. I want one, dude. <laughs> I got, I got some, uh, side skirts. And they're actually. This looks so, so I mean, good. I didn't put them on yet. So like on this too, just so you guys know, there'll be mods coming up on this. So wheels, tires, brake pads, brake fluid, um, some other carbon goodies, and yeah. So pretty much, if you guys want to see any more M, M car stuff, check out his channel. Yeah, check we... it out. All right, guys, that'll change an event. So basically, he went out, he drifted the M3. I um, actually cannot believe the way it handled. Um, there is a front, like apparently there's a little bit of toe in the front and a little bit of camber. Uh, so that stuff does need to get fixed. When he actually went out drifting it, it kind of a little bit messed up the wrap here. It's all good. Uh, it is rubbing. I do need to go a little bit smaller on the spacers, uh, but that's fine. It's all good. No harm, all fun. Need to get smaller spaces in the rear and he's gonna try to whip it again and see if everything's good. And I need to get a realignment in the front Make sure everything's good to go. But yeah, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start shifting the M4. It's gonna be kind of crazy. It beeped like 10 times. I turned it off. Why is that? Oh, that's why. That's smart. <laughs> it's like, don't mind that, guys. <laughs> warmed up. Yeah, no, I just put that on there for fun. Yeah, exactly. It's a nice little display. Do the little, uh, oof. Ultimate flights. The horsepower. <laughs> I need to lower the seat a little bit, I feel too hot. Oh damn, I see it. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> oh that's, my God. That's kind of the difference on torque. Oh right? my God. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, that's great. Is it tuned? No, this is all stock right now. I had uh -huh. it tuned. Yeah, I broke it. I haven't talked about it. What? I spun the crank up. So it's record, honestly. I'm just gonna record. I'll just record. Okay. This is torque. Oh my God. <laughs> It's a lot different. The whole time. What the? So I'm taking them on like my little circle situation. Fifty miles an hour. Oh, you like massive. All right, guys. So basically. I don't even know if that transition worked out perfectly. Here at the end of the video, the kind of the video was all over the place. We got some new wheels and new tires on the M3. They look a lot better. They feel a lot better. So I might be rocking it for a little bit. Also, shout out to Blake for taking me on his M3. Shout out to him for even drifting my M3 so I can see the potential. I had a lot of fun. If you guys want to check out his channel, check it out down below. I'm over here trying to edit the video so we can go on with the rest of our day. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in circles. Cause I wanna have worth.